Yo, what's going on? Today we'll be looking at John Grand. Yeah, I can't believe they released this character either. Um, one thing I'm gonna mention about the video is that you may notice that there is no Ultra Limit Break Primark on this account, unfortunately. Primark, I mean Dark Opus. You guys know what I mean, so. That's unfortunate, but it's not there yet. Maybe in the future. Um, I can't really showcase her, her full maximum potential because there's also no star, um, five star, unfortunately as well. And Metatron being, Metatron being a uh, fully uncapped. So things like that, they tend to matter in terms of like getting the maximum damage output in the fight. Now, one thing I'm gonna mention is that I'm gonna hold out on her skill one because I really want to showcase that fully with like a burst setup because I feel like that's like her main goal is to really burst things down. So I'm gonna hold out a little bit just to make sure I can get that in. Also, about her skill two, feel free to use that on cooldown. You don't really need to like wait for it or anything because he does reset it every time on her Ogi. Her skill one, however, I, I do like to hold it for the burst turn because that's when you get the most value. Thanks, Kambara. You know, good job multi attacking there. Right, so, so the whole point here is to try to burst this thing down. I'm gonna try to get a real good uh, setup, but. There's one thing that, because it doesn't have the ultimate break opus, it's kind of hard. You may notice that I've touched the primal opus, even though optimally in the setup, you should bring the magna opus. If you're, if both opuses are not fully done, magna tends to be the better option for light. If you're running Zeus, because the magna boost from the magna boost from the Sev sword, is not really high enough. To, be, to really be worth in the long run, and you're best off bringing the Magna Opus. This is for people with Eden's, right? That want to know about it. If you have Eden's and you have both Opuses not done, I recommend running Magna. You get more damage out of it. They're running a Sub Sword. Um, I guess we get this Ogi here. Let's get the see her Ogi effect. She just, oh my god, isn't she throws the spear? Isn't that another character ability? Like they just, just toss their spear like hella far. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Alright. And here we begin with this annoying part of the fight, which starts hitting you with plane damage left and right. Don't know why I decided to take this on this fight. Ah, uh, so annoying. I guess we're gonna have to be the shield. The shield wouldn't really do much, but it helps against this uh, damage over time. When I get my my burst ready, I'm going to drop the um, I'm drop a blue pot. You see the damage drop because of this portion of the fight. I think it's 20 defense. I could be wrong, but it's a 20 defense portion of the fight. Wow, you missed the buffs. Of course, of course you would. Once we get into the normal fight after 50, I'm going to go from the burst setup. I brought Freyer so I can have a veil. I don't want to get debuffed too hard. I am kind of scared of the sleep, so I'm just trying to avoid that if I can. Okay, I think we have everything I really wanted up about now. My phone's going off in the background. Um, we get guaranteed TA after she ogies. So. We're gonna Ogi the next turn. And then that should be good enough. Wow, she missed a lot of her debuffs. Wow. I, you know, I'm at the. Um, surprised that she missed so many debuffs. It kinda hurts a little bit. We're gonna use Freya here. The reason I'm dropping Freya now, opposed to later, it's because. If I run into the trigger and it tends to debuff me out of break, it's gonna hurt a lot. Getting hit with sleep. Yeah, yeah. Cool. And we'll blue pot to get maximum damage from the Edens. Like this right here. Though we end up getting this nuke instead of the sleep. Right, so drop, drop this. This. 
Now, about raid 4, I believe it does stack with her skill 3. We're going to use it right now, though, to make sure. So you can see the full debuff. So we got, this is her buff right here. And I believe this is rage 4 down here, so it does stack. I don't know about the other damage caps up, though. So I have to, like, try her out with other characters to see if it's going to cap or not. You can see that the multiplier is kind of low on it. So, unfortunately, if you don't have a fully invested grid, like this one right here, even though it's for Edens, it's not going to be enough to really get maximum value out of it. I think the Veil just saved us right now. Pretty cool. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, let me use this here. But that right there is probably the biggest thing about her skill. Like, you can't really utilize it. It's kind of similar to Grimnir, where, like, it doesn't have a really high percent on it. So it's kind of hard to cap. So you definitely need a more fleshed out grid to really benefit from it. This would be under the fight, though, I think. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, I think we lost. I think we're losing a lot of characters, actually. Oh no. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh well, you can see Zoe's field. I never got to get to use the character. My section. What does the character do, bro? I'm gonna hit skills. I never. I ain't never seen this character use in my life. That's John. I mean, it's, it's the same thing as Grimnir. Like the low multiplier on it. It does not something you can really deal with. I probably could use skill 2 first, I think. The pumpkin effect. Wow, I ended up dying with the last second. Bro These bosses are hard, man! <laughs> but that's John. Um, unfortunately, you know, if your grid's not fully maxed out, right, you're going to have a hard time capping her skill 3. Her skill 3 is kind of long on the cooldown. So, I mean, unless you have a really good multi-attack grid, even though she does give herself a guaranteed TA one time, you're going to have a hard time really utilizing her skill 3. So I really wouldn't depend on her skill 3 as something that you can apply many times in the fight. You're probably only going to get it off one time. I don't think she's going to be used for Bahamut high level, which is like the only fight where you may get it a couple times. You Baja high level, maybe? I doubt it, though. Because, you know, the five turns to start, um, even with the reduction, it's just it's too hard. It's too hard, in my opinion. That's my opinion on her, though. Um, leave in the comments how you guys feel about it, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.